uh, second is on Greece. The IMF has taken a turn on Greece, saying that the target for the primary su surplus is unrealistic. That is unsustainable and bringing, in fact, forward uh, the possibility of debt relief. Do you still subscribe to these conclusions of the IMF? Uh, and if so, how will you take them on board if you become uh, the ECB president? On Greece and the primary surplus, this has been an ongoing debate uh, within the Troika, particularly in the last couple of years of the IMF involvement on the Greek program. And I think we have consistently, and we have been on record, to say that 3.5% primary surplus is, in our view, IMF, and I'm speaking here still in, in my capacity, is excessive and is putting unduly pressure on the recovery of the Greek economy as it, as it is hoped for. So I think our the IMF is still of that view, and um, while we are seeing that Greece is undergoing recovery, uh, it's, it's a process that will have to be, uh, in my assessment, uh, reviewed very carefully. Now, it is very um, useful that the Governing Council has actually revised and limited the mandate of the ECB in relation to programs, and has limited the role of the ECB to its objectives and its priorities. You know, I remember those endless uh, Euro area finance ministers and central bank governors meetings where arcane details of the type of structural reforms uh, were discussed with um, Mario Draghi and his esteemed staff in the room. And I remember you know, vividly seeing them thinking, what can we contribute in that debate? Uh, because it was not their core competency. And, and clearly the fact that in the future, the ECB will be limiting its review to the areas where it has competency, I think is, is very welcome.